We could be here for a bit, right? Hello everyone, welcome to A Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. We're at Jen, Jen's Auntie Melinda. Yes. Um, her shrimp pond is like right over there. We've did a video from here before. Yeah, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump. And there, uh, there's no boat available because they're doing an emergency harvest right now. That's why we're here. They, the shrimp are sick. You can't remember the name of the of the sickness that they have. I know. Well, I, do you remember what it is? We Jen? never got it, but it, it's. No. It, I only oh, know from the internet. It's because of the weather. It's been, you know, so sunny like about. Too sunny. It's been raining every other day. What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah. The other day was very sunny, and that. One day out of fifteen, yeah. made the shrimp sick. Maybe. I don't think so. She said the, the shrimp was sick like two days ago, so they're gonna harvest it. Is that from the water exchange, Jason? I, I like this is why we came here, right? I, I have no answers for you, buddy, but um, I want to know. Yeah, well, that's why we're here. Is we want some answers. I hope I hope it's a a knowledgeable answer, not that it was too sunny because it hasn't been too sunny. Yeah. It's been like this for a month. <laughs> Clouds, well, they have overcast. Had sunny days, but the big thing there has not been a full sun sunny day here in three months jason well there's been a few but i know your point the vast majority have been raining the thing of it is is this, this is what i was talking to you um over the phone what it does is it comes down i don't to remember how, that i was still basically asleep when we were talking on the phone <laughs> it's all good how deep you make the water right like yeah. if you don't make the water deep and they have a tendency to do that here then 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 sunlight, even on the days, and you gotta remember, like I, I maybe it's the sudden temperature change. Well, no. there have been like one day in ten, it'll be full sun, and I'm I'm sure that it would heat up during those days. So maybe some of the little guys got caught in shallow water and. Well, you see, but they're they're drawing it. Weaken the bit. Straws. They're they're just sort of saying, well, it's the temperature, and that's and I've heard this before. Temperature is a factor, but. You know, before for for the the Pacific White Lake, the Banamay shrimp that's in here, they can tolerate temperatures like they're quite fine up to 30, 32 degrees. Water temperature, and it's got to be hot yeah, to get yeah and, water temperature because and, thirty two is like 90, yeah, 90 ish. It takes a lot of solar energy to get that. Now the only way that that would be effective is if I mean, pardon me, you would ever get near that temperature, for, especially with the cloudy, overcast days we've had, is if the water depth is not great. That's the only way you'd get and that. And that pond, a lot of it is not great. I guess. I mean, but this is unusual. She's, she, you know, she's talked about how many times she's harvested, and this, this doesn't happen that often. Do, do we have an idea of how often is not that often? Well, that's what we'll love. That's what we'll find out. Yeah. Yeah. Because if this is a yearly thing, that's that's to me that's often. Well, this if this is, is the third time in eight years, then that's what I would call not too often. Okay. Fair enough, and we'll, 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 my understanding is it's along those lines. I don't know the exact amount of times that it's happened, but right. the other thing is, um, this is known as like this is sort of prime time for for shrimp because it isn't so like it's it is generally cooler and overcast, right. and um, it's the like because you know so you know it's those... odd here like summer summer like August July August is not the hottest. It's the hottest time here is March and April like that. Yeah, the, February, the March, spring. April, May. Yeah, yeah, which is the hot. That's the absolute hottest time in the yeah. well in the Visayas, anyways, guys. Um, that's when it's like you got to be really watchful of that. But if you had two meters of water, like it takes an intense and and 34 degrees is when they really get where you got a problem. That's where they start shutting down. To get two meters of water to 34 degrees Celsius. Yeah, down at the bottom. That takes yeah. a hell of a lot of solar energy. A hell of a lot. Is it impossible? No, and it happens. But it is. It takes a lot. It of takes energy. a lot because I can I can remember even getting into a swimming pool in Vegas, where it's six feet deep and the water down at the bottom that's, at your feet is nice and, and cool. And that's where the shrimp are. They're down at the bottom. I was gonna say, oh, I felt water this 30. You know, like what are you gonna say? It's that's that's yeah. in the low 90. Well, hopefully we'll get some answers and uh, yeah. they'll be good ones. Bye. Well, we found a ride, sort of. <laughs> and there's oh about, my. oh, I don't know, one inch of gunwale there <laughs> before Jason and Jen begin swimming. Well, the waves are light today. 
going on here. So we're in the boat. Uh, we've got tons of room. I don't know what the for. Uh, everybody's telling me my swimming. Can you swim, Jen? I can, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to swim. All right, well, our chariot has arrived, and I'm thinking just me. Okay, bye. And even just me in this little boat, I don't know. <laughs> I'm praying to Jesus. Praying to Jesus here. Oh. <laughs> well, we're doing a wheelie here. <laughs> Pray for us, Jane. <laughs> He's talking about that foreigner's fat ass. All right, so we're here, and uh, I had to do a little bit of a jaunt through the <laughs> through the mud. I don't know if my slippers are ever going to recover. I probably should have taken them off, but you know those little mangrove spikes are yeah, not a joke. They're they're nasty. So that's why I kept them on. <laughs> but uh, Marcel, I'm a dead man. I, I know it. You'll be nice and clean before you see her. Yeah, nice. I doubt that. <laughs> but anyway, Man. this Man, is this is the harvest they're doing Brian's here. Feet. Sorry. Sorry. Now, now something to note. You notice, so like just on the base of shore, that you did that green. That's the. That's the algae. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. What's uh, 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 Lamotte? Lamotte. 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 So, it's like French and a moat. La moat. La moat. Exactly. So you can just see tinges of it. This whole basin was covered in that stuff. So that's how much they ate. So they were. They were so they had plenty of food for another two months, right? Okay. You're going to make me cry here because those are some big fish. For four weeks, yeah. I mean. They, those are growing faster than what yeah. ours did on commercial feed. Correct. And not, I mean, that's, and the big thing is. is that's ask, eight, eight ask per them, kilo? Yes. Ask them how much, it, how much they spent on feed. Yeah, a big, Voila. Fat, big fat goose Voila. egg. Voila. Yeah. Zero. Brian, I like your very expensive socks. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, I know I got the intro to our video now. Oh, look at this guy. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm not going to walk in there to clean my feet off. As you can see, the muck is pretty deep. That's that's the muck that this guy's going through. Brian, I'm going to get a little bit. Pardon me, I'm going to go in your shot. It is muddy. Ever wonder what the bottom of a pond is? A beautiful pond where the ducks and the swans are going by and the fish are going by. Well, see, now this has got me. This is a, you know, this pond, I can tell just by looking that the mud in the bottom of this pond is much, much deeper than the one we rented. Yep. Because yeah. you can actually see shells and rocks in the bottom of, of the pond that we did. Well, you got to remember that she, that, uh, that uh, Melinda gets rid of the, she, she does the process to get rid of the uh, snails. Yeah. Whereas, uh, uh, Venencia does not. So, they're thinking that the problem well, was from, wanna, yeah. from a different pond well, putting in fertilizer? 
No, what they think it's, they said it's a combination of things and it's the temperature, uh, the fact that, the, that it was sunny and then it rained and all that stuff and the temperature fluctuation. That's sort of the default answer. Yeah. Then they also, I, I, was, I, I noticed that they said, and it also corresponds when the farmers start to put heavy fertilizer in the, ri in the rice fields. Ah. Uh, and as I was thinking, the, runoff the goes number into this one river. thing, like temperature will kill shrimp, salinity will kill shrimp, uh, uh, a lack of dissolved oxygen will kill shrimp. One of the things they are most sensitive to is the amount of ammonia. Right. Ammonia. And ammonia. so the runoff, in the, in the, the runoff from the rice fields, which goes into this river. Correct. And, and which they exchange. Which regularly. they exchange, flush out, and uh, so they. Now the bad it, part. It could have not been a virus. It could just be ammonia shock. Well, remember, like we're speculating. Yeah. But. It's just the, the sort of the default thing is say, well, it's temperature. Yeah. Because and you can kind of control that and stuff like that. Now the one thing, kind of the downside of that is regulating ammonia in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the ponds. It can be done now, but it, you know, it, it's some pretty. I think they're actually rounding them up a little bit. But but it's not as simple as what even filtering the water. Like the ammonia can't be. Cannot, the only way you could filter that out is to actually do. Um, you know, uh, an actual filtration system. Uh, air, air it, does, can you uh, well, aeration aerosol help, it? Can you aeration, aerate it aeration out? Aeration helps the bacteria in the soil deal with it. 100%, uh, which they don't do here. But, but you, and there's also, then there's also the good old, um, oh, I'm forgetting the term. What do you call it? You know, the, the healthy butt gut, uh, the healthy gut bacteria. Um, like everybody started drinking yogurt with the... Um, probiotic. Probiotic. Yeah. There are probiotics additives you can put in your pond to help the bacteria, the growth of them, to deal with ammonia. But the birds are having a party. Yeah. Well, the party's almost over for them because, like, they, you know, they, they're near the end of it. But uh, I was told that at, at times, like, the birds get so crazy, yeah. like that they'll come after you, like that you gotta <laughs> like hit them and get rid of them because they're like. You know what? You know, I'm looking at this pond, Jason. <laughs> Everything that, everything that is not grass, you could get in here with a dredge and lower the level of this pond about a half a meter real quick like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just dredge it out into the... Now, there is into a limitation the, uh, to the height of what you can, like how deep you can do it. Yeah, you can't, go, you can't go too deep. Because this needs of, photosynthesis. Right. But, but if, you, if you have a cleaner pond, then you can go a little bit deeper. And then your texture, your, your temperature fluctuations are going to be, you know. All right. Well, these are the milkfish. Uh, they grew a lot in a month. Amazing how how much these fish grew in a month in that pond. With no feed. With no feed. Now the shrimp. So does anyone have any count on the? They did. They got. Um, uh, uh, ten boxes. Ten boxes of shrimp. Yeah. So and they do the same thing. It's thirty six. Three hundred and fifty kilos. <laughs> yeah. How many boxes of the milkfish do they get? That I don't know. Okay. But uh, Melinda has it all written down. So you can and I guess the shrimp are all all on the truck already. Uh, I think so. I think they did the same thing. Uh, so, quick math. Well, we don't know how much they got because of the smaller size. Yeah, Ali didn't know yet. Um, I don't know. It seems to be a little more flexible. They don't. They they don't know the sizing. They don't. So they don't have the pricing. Uh, and a, a boom's not here. No, a, a boom's here. He's. He's uh, here, huh? Oh, right there. there he is. <laughs> So can you ask him, love? Does he know? Uh, Your love is not here. <laughs> uh, hey, <Ryan>. lady. <laughs> well, I'm used to hanging out with a different yeah, Filipina, know. who I occasionally okay. call love. Okay. So hey, lady. Can, yes, sir. Can, <laughs> can can you ask a boom like uh, for this size? What's the what's the common? Because uh, they said it was hundred price, per yeah. kilo. Like hundred per kilo, or hundred, yeah, hundred per kilo is what they yeah. said. Yeah, I'm going to put one size kilo in the one. Seventy-five. 
Yeah. No, for the shrimp. No, uh, Poseidon. Uh, 180. 180. Okay, so there's not much price difference at all. It's still a lot. Holy crow. Yeah. So if they were the larger, if they were this a boom, still only 200? Maybe the prices are going up, I don't know. <laughs> For uh, 35 to 40 in a one kilo, that's 280. So 35 to 40 per kilo is 280. But what they commonly harvest here is 50 to 60. So what's the price on those? Yeah. Well, well, first, 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 wait, wait. So what size is he's calling the ones that they harvested now? 90 to 100. 90 to 100, okay. And so they commonly harvest 50 to 60, right? So what's the, what's the normal price on 50 to 60? Uh, Which yeah. is what they would normally harvest, correct? Yeah. Two thirty. Yeah, so prices are going up a little bit. Okay, well that's a good thing. So 350 kilos, you, maybe your math is working better than mine. 350 at 180. 180? Uh, that's like 6... That's like 70k. 670, yeah. Like 70k? No, no, no. You lose zero. No, it's more than 7,000 pesos. No, 60, yeah, it's 67,000. Yeah. No, 67,000. No, 600. I thought you said six, 670. No, I said 70. Oh, 60 or 70. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I was like, so, and how many boxes of milk fish did they get? Uh, like I said, that'll be written down. We can add that okay. later. But hey, you know, 70K, and maybe they get another... Five ten thousand pesos for the. But that's in a month. Yeah, that's in a month. That's eighty k in it. Just say. And just this say is an emergency. 80. They didn't want to do it. Right. They, so eighty k, and they're into it zero. Well, no. Well, uh, no. They're into it. The cost of the fry. Yeah. And they did harvest the whole fry. And so they put in seventy thousand. And so I divide that by four. Uh, Twenty-seven. Yeah, roughly. Divide it by four. So. Uh, that, uh, like 17,000, 16,000. Yeah. Just say 20,000 with okay, the call milk it fish. 20. Yeah. So 50 grand. So yeah, 50, 60 net in a month. But then with again, no they do have the cost. The cost, cost of the harvest. Of, uh, all that, right? Yeah. Well, say 50. Just say. I don't think. I think. I think a bomb. One of the reasons why it's popular is a bomb does do provides the crew. Provides the yeah. crew, and that's why a lot and of the guys roll with them. I guess, yeah, he must because yeah. I don't want it in the yeah, so I asked her to <laughs> You missed the, the native chicken that's garnered with a little tiny a shrimp? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, not a shrimp, but uh, an actual bang. It's about that small fish. Well, yeah, good on you, buddy. Uh, Look at the size of that rooster. <laughs> so that's, even a, that's a Beauregard. The, what was the, what's the big that's rooster a, in uh, uh, Warner Brothers? What's that? Oh, that was Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah, Foghorn Leghorn. That's a Foghorn Leghorn. Well, it's a different breed, but yeah, he's big. That's one of the. That's a fighting breed. Kind of like a Shamu, yeah, but not, they call it something different here. He doesn't get nervous. He just no, no, they you. handle them. I mean, they they pet them and groom them and hand raise them. They're pets until they go into the ring and then they're vicious killers. Yeah. Which I'm not a fan of, but it's not my business. So, yeah, they did okay. Even though this was an emergency, they're dying harvest because of, you know, a multiple of factors. They don't really know, but they it's probably run off from the rice fields because they fertilize. Yeah, and ammonia build up. Yeah. That's what I think. Because I don't think it's temperature. It's been cloudy like this almost continuously. So, even though it was uh, not what they were expecting, it's much better than what could have happened. So, they, even though it was an emergency harvest, they did all right. Well, how many people here would take 50 grand in a month? Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.